Welcome back to Anonymous Repair. So this is an update to my phone. Um, I lost the footage of me going to, to the store and um, I had to switch off the phone to put in my SIM card that was still in this phone at the time and the footage got corrupt so i went in i took the photo that i did on my last video and told him well i want to speak to the manager so they called the manager we had a discussion about the pictures he told me yeah but when was this picture taken i told him well today i got the phone the day I was here I went home I opened the phone I took the photos I did a video on it I showed the difference so there's the photo I can show you the difference between the two phones yeah but the technicians won't do this and went on and on and he says but uh, let me take the phone and let me, let us open the phone and have a look so there well, is a phone have a look there's no liquid damage in this phone I can guarantee you this I took the phone, opened it up, was waiting there about a half an hour. He came back out and said, okay, I have written the decision. I'm going to get your phone fixed. I must come back in an hour. So, hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half passed. He phoned me. He needs my passcode. I gave him the passcode. They tested the phone. And... Um, He tells me please they're gonna send me sms i must give them a five five star review and blah, blah, blah. so i still didn't do the review on two minds about the review they don't deserve five stars that's my honest opinion um tell me in the comments down below what would you do would you give them five stars one star three star if you watched all three part, well, this will be part three of the video. Leave it down in the comments. What would you do? Would you give them a one star, two star, three star? Um, so the point was never getting the phone fixed. The point of the videos was getting how, how we to honor the warranty and not to screw over other customers that's basically what the video was about um my new phone got some audio issues as you can see in the previous video got a hum on it not an engineer a sound engineer i'm not a camera operator i mean what i'm learning about cameras and audio and stuff is what I'm doing now basically but no idea with that so um, but what I'm doing now is I'm streaming from my new phone to the computer let's get this a bit more in focus let's get the table more in focus there we go we don't have it looks better so we don't have focus hunting the whole time um, so I'm recording directly into OBS I'm recording the sound directly into OBS so I can switch now between the main camera and the microscope that will maybe make video e editing much easier I can switch back to the main thing I just hope there's no not much lag in the audio and video but i'm sure we'll get that sorted over time so yeah phone is fixed uh, as you can see there's the cell there's the main camera and then that's the selfie cam so you can see the camera there you can see the lights down the top um 
and the screen is replaced because they had ghost typing as well. Um, thanks to all new subscribers. Thanks to all old subscribers. Um, stick with me, please. I'm going to get this right. <laughs> Hopefully one day. Um, it's it's not an easy task. Um, uh, still not happy with the mic. Um, I'm looking into getting a condenser mic, a BM800. Also, I was thinking about a dynamic mic, but I think I have a, a low voice and I think a dynamic mic will make it worse, as I understand. The only problem with the condenser mic is, again, it will pick up more background noise. And with me sitting like this, the, the highway is right behind me. So if I talk, I would actually pick up the background noise of the highway. So we'll see if I can get that sorted. So I didn't order the microphone yet. It will still be on its way. And uh, thanks for sticking out with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next ones. Thanks for watching. Cheers.